I'm currently at a local village of Xinjiang Uyghur Anonymous Region and for Luom Nor people. And this is a traditional village and as you can see there's a fossil of populous Euphetica. And guess how many years old of this giant fossil? It's actually 150 million years from now. Actually, Populus Euphratica also has another name called Hero Tree because it's longevity. It can stand for so many, so many, so many, so many years uh, in the desert. Talimu River and it's called the Mother River for Xinjiang people, right here. of Xinjiang Uyghur Anonymous Region. This village is famous for its handcraft instruments. All the instruments you can see here are handmade. And this one in Uyghur is called Dudar. Dudar, sounds similar to guitar, right? And actually this instrument is really uh, looks like a guitar. It has strings there and this is how you try to play it. Oh, look up there. There's so many grips on the roof. I got this fresh grape from the owner of this home. Mm -hmm. Really, really sweet. It's so sweet. Fruits in Xinjiang is like super, super sweet. Do you want to try? Especially in this village, every home in this village, they will have their special handmade Xinjiang instruments. Now I'm dressing up another uh, dress of Uyghur ethnic minority and this is their handmade hand drum. You can see they draw all by hand all these paintings. I guess this is how they play the hand drum. They even have a factory here. Uh, they built this factory last year in order to increase the total output of their handmade instruments. As you can see here, no machine, only handmade. The workers use their hand to carve the shape and to make the body of the instruments. Now I'm at the exhibition center, which presents about 157 handmade instruments from all over the Xinjiang Uyghur and Nams region. Some of them even have more than 200 years old history. I'm currently at Wensu County, uh, located in northwest Xinjiang Uyghur Anonymous Region. This Grand Canyon is called Tumor Grand Canyon. Uh, it's the largest north to south canyon uh, in Tianshan Mountain, and it shows the mountain and desert natural landscape. You can see it has a high aesthetic value, really, really beautiful. Uh, and the sun here is really strong, and the weather in the morning and night are like really cold, it's freezing. It's really good for uh, taking photos here and there are many wild animals that are under the national first level or second level protection such as snow, uh, leopard, vulture, uh, golden, golden eagle uh, and some lizard. Uh, there are many wild animals you can see in this Grand Canyon. 
Uh, there are two main values in the Tumor Grand Valley. One of them is called Salt Canyon, and the salt water uh, is from the Salt Canyon. And if you want to try, really salty, just like the water from sea. And they're, go they're going to use the salty water and to uh, prepare for the later barbecue and to prepare for the lamp. Okay, now just follow my camera and let's have a room tour of the house of Master Bai to see how rich he was. This is a storage room to storage the food. We can see that he never worried about his food. Because like he's always have enough food here. Okay, follow this way. And this is the main yard and where we can see as a living room uh, so big of the master Bai Yi. If you can look around, see how many floors it has. Let's go to the second floor and to see the bedroom. This is a seat for Master Ba Yi. Sitting here through the window of his bedroom, he can see the guests uh, who entered his house. And through that window over here, he can see the living room right here. This is a walk-in closet. Come in. As you can see here, the main color of Master Bai's clothes are green. This is because of the location of Kaskar City uh, is on the edge of the desert. So uh, people in Kaskar, they love the color of green, which stands for lives. 